everyone and welcome to today's tutorial where I'm going to show you how you can create this super cool projector look and the best part of it is you don't even need to buy a projector for this because I'm gonna show you how you can create this within post-production in Photoshop. So let's get started. I first prepared my image a bit. I changed the colors to um, really match the vibe of a projector photo. What I did next and what you will have to do is download a Font if you don't have a font like this installed. This is the font I downloaded and installed. I will link this later in the description. Next, you will also need to prepare some kind of text. I wrote a random sentence. I copied and pasted it a couple of times and now I'm just gonna copy and paste it over here. So first what we're gonna do is take the type tool, horizontal type tool, and simply Click somewhere and then paste our text. Next, we want this all a bit bigger, I'd say around I'd say 18. What does this look like? So now I have um, selected everything. Make sure that you change your font to this um, font you have installed previously. Uh, it's called Old Computer. You can actually just like go ahead and computer, regular. Use that one. Um, and then, yeah, I've set it here to smooth. As you can see here now, uh, it's kind of overlapping, so we have to um, change the line spacing. I'll do so by clicking over here and then go here and change this from 10.15 to 40, maybe now. Make it a bit bigger. Still too small. Still too small. Get a bit bigger. Something like this. I would even go. Had to make it bigger a tiny tiny bit. Say 36. Yeah, something like this. That is fine. And then we're gonna change it to red. I want this to be like a really vibrant red. Something like that. Like that one. Okay, so where are we going to see this projector overlay? Basically, mostly, um, if you think that the light comes from the side, maybe the projector will also be like somewhere here in this area. So we come from this side. This is important because that means that usually you don't really see so much of that projection and like shadows. They are usually no clean without anything. So we will have it more in the lighter areas. We have to keep that in mind. This is really important. Um, so what I'm going to do next is actually. Make it a tiny, tiny bit bigger, actually really stretching it a bit. I do so first transforming it and then holding the shift key and just dragging it here on the side. So now it's like that. Then I'm going to go and change the blend mode to linear dodge add. You can use screen that's like less intense usually. Or Add. Add is a bit more intense. I have it like this. In the brighter areas, it already changes. Next, what we're gonna do before we transform it, we're gonna apply a filter and we're gonna add a motion blur. To do so, we either can convert it to a smart object or rasterize. I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna convert it to a smart object. So that we can make um, changes later. So I really just want like a small motion effect. No, a projector can never be like super super sharp. You have to keep that in mind. So I'd say something like that should be fine. Next, I double click on this layer here, and then layer style. The layer styles window pops up. What I want to do here is put this a bit to side. What I want to do here is add an outer glow. I used a pink color and set it to screen. So now it has like this kind of blur outside. I really like that. Um, these are the values. It's set to softer. Spread is around 20, 15 ish the size. And yeah, I use this type of contour. You can also change it a bit, then it becomes more. Now you see the edges a bit more. I don't like that too much. So I changed it to. I wouldn't even go with that one. It's like, nah. I don't know. Let's keep it. Let's 
happy with that one. And then I also gonna add a pattern overlay. I use this orange one and set it to add. It's one of the basic ones that you find on a grass. Uh, scale is 1000% and it gives it some kind of distortion as well. I don't want it to look too plain. So now you see it, the overlay, um, the, the add. Blending mode also changes a bit if you have like this pattern here. I'm just going to click OK next. So now it's going to get important because now we have to um transform the text so that it actually matches the perspective i do so by pressing uh, strg or ctrl i think and t this is just fine so now because what i want to do is like it's going to be more like something more like this right so it comes from here you know the shadow goes down here we would like to also have that. Yeah, perfect. Nice. This is the first. What we're going to do next is like rotating it a bit so that it matches over here. I'm going to transform it again a tiny, tiny bit to make it more like go over here. And then once more time transforming it. And then up here on the top, you see this sign, which means that you can really just like take every corner and um, do it freely. The transformation. So I'm going to put this one here down a tiny, tiny bit. Not too much. Not too much. But just that it like really matches the perspective. So you, you see, okay, here there needs to be a break um, because in the background it will be differently reflected than here on her face, on her hair. I'm going to try to like manipulate that by doing something like this, making it seem more straight on this side. And then just like drawing it in like here and then later we can change it over here. Just a tiny bit. I like to get one bit more up and then here a bit down so what i'm going to do next is applying an inverted layer mask by pressing here alt and click on this symbol down here and then everything is gone again so now with like the layer mask selected i'm going to use a red brush uh wrong key i am going to use a red brush to change the um to brush to paint over the photo <laughs> so yeah here the brush um so now i'm gonna add like nearly 100 percent um not too soft to be honest but a bit bigger for now i'm gonna draw in the projector effect in all the highlighted areas it won't be in the shadow so i can leave the shadows without any projector um effect applied so let's Zoom in here a tiny, tiny bit. Get rid of this one here. The brush. And then paint in. Okay. So now I'm going to change the opacity a bit to like make it um, fade in, fade out in some areas. Like here with the hair, that's like way too strong for like the little light that is shining on her hair so i'm gonna paint it out again remove it because i now have the black color selected in the front don't forget about that what you can do if you have the feeling that this is not strong enough go ahead here to auto glow Double click on it, then the window will pop up again. And you can increase the opacity here. It will become a bit stronger. Awesome! Here we are. Like this, you can fake and project the look in Photoshop 